This is the stretching routine I do every single morning that eliminates back pain. And I've been doing some form of this, I've like added and removed things over the years, since 2013, almost every single day. It's so effective that even when I was doing my plastic surgery residency, I would wake up 10 minutes early, even if I was, you know, only three hours of sleep that night, just so I could do this routine, because standing in the OR, sitting at the computer, etc., I would normally get back pain if I didn't do this. It's quick, effective, and doesn't take much. I got a foam roller, the cross ball, these are the two necessary things. If you travel, you can still bring both of these. I usually use a foldable foam roller. And then these two things are optional, and I'll show you how to use those later. So let's get started. First step is rolling on the thoracic spine. We spent a lot of time sitting, a lot of time in kyphosis. So getting some extension, especially after being stationary at night, usually feels really good. can also expand or contract depending on how much time you have. So most mornings, usually about 10 minutes, sometimes up to 15 if you really want to go deeper in the stretches, but this can be even as short as five minutes if you really crunch on time. So next I take a lacrosse ball and I'm rolling out my glutes, my piriformis, maybe even get up to my TFL. And when you find a painful spot, don't just roll past it. I find it way more effective if you just land on it and then you can add a little bit of wiggles a little bit of back and forth, that really helps loosen it up, loosen up any knots. Next we're going to stretch out our hamstrings, and I use this strap, this is optional, you can also just grab your hands or grab your legs directly, but I like to go like this, and I feel like I can get a deeper stretch this way. The alternative again would be just my hands like this, which is also valid. If I'm traveling, that's what I'll do, but I don't want to do this. And after holding it for about 30 seconds or so, what I do is I contract against the stretch. I'm pushing my foot down, back towards the ground while pulling my hands up, doing a little isometric contraction like that. Hold that for about 10 seconds. And then when you relax, you'll find that you can go even further. Next, I stretch out the hip flexors. These get really tight from sitting all the time. And you can do the same thing here. You can contract your knee forward, activating the hip flexors. Squeeze, hold that for about 10 seconds. And then when you relax, you can usually go a little bit deeper. And then I go down here, get my hamstrings a little bit more. Next, I do some wrist exercises. This is because I have some wrist issues. If you don't have wrist issues, you probably don't really need to do this or it's not gonna make any noticeable difference. But this is just to keep my wrists healthy and behaving properly. And then I stretch the wrists out a little bit. Both an extension and inflection. And now I do cat-cow. And I actually find it helpful to focus on extending and contracting going up your spine. So you start at the lumbar, and then thoracic, and then cervical, and then cobra. Child's pose. And then I'm not sure what they call this. I call it the frog stretch. I abduct my hips and then sink back. And this helps to stretch out the groin on both sides. And then I sink into a deep squat. And that's it. That's the, the core stretch, the core stretching routine. I do add a few other things depending on what I want to focus on. So right now, my chest, I want to open up my chest because again, from sitting too much, then I'll put the lacrosse ball and then roll my pec major and pec minor on it, like that. You can also do this against a wall, but then your walls, I've learned, the walls get dirty. You roll this directly against it. 
and then afterwards I stretch it out, both pec major, where my arm is at, my upper arm is 90 degrees from my torso. And then I push this up, get a little bit more of that pec minor. Same thing on the other side. And then the last thing that I'm focusing on because I'm trying to get better with my squats is angle mobility. So I got one of these yoga tune-up balls, which is softer than a lacrosse ball. The lacrosse ball is a bit too hard for this. And I put it right, right anterior to my lateral malleolus, my, the outside of my ankle. And then I'm trying to mobilize it a little bit and getting a little bit more extension, a little bit more external rotation. And that's it, that's my stretching morning routine. I hope you guys find it useful. It makes me feel amazing every morning. And this is one of those things that I think if you keep experimenting, you keep adding and removing things based on how you feel. Like I used to do the pigeon stretch every morning, but I found that it wasn't as helpful, it wasn't as useful, so then I removed it. So it's about figuring out what works best for you. And this has evolved and changed a lot since 2013 when I first started doing it. Experiment, see what makes you happy, see what makes you feel good, and I hope it helps.